Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have, I, I'm going to, instead of calling it Big Step Fridays, I'm going to start calling it Thread, Thread Up Designer DIY Fridays. Um, I have a couple of these coming at you on Fridays. I'm going to be in the same outfit because I'm doing um, some boxes trying to get caught up, get things out and listed because it just sits in the box and I need to get that taken care of. So today we have a box from Swanee, Georgia. If you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms and we bring everything to you first. We do unboxings, we mainly do jewelry, and that is during the week. And then on Fridays, we do something a little different. Uh, as I said, I'm a little addicted to these threaded boxes right now. Um, but I'm about to put the brakes, pump the brakes until I get every single item listed. Um, however, you're going to see them for a few more weeks because I am still catching up. I think I have, I, I went on a buying spree and, um, I, I think I'm done for a while. So, uh, this one, as I said, is from, uh, Swanee, Georgia. If you see something you're interested, send us an email to one shady y at gmail.com. Uh, very, very simple. So I'm also going to put comparables in here. So if you don't like the way I'm holding up a dress or something, stay tuned because right behind, as I'm finished talking about it, um, I will show you um, the uh, uh, item in a comparison so you'll see the full piece. I've already cut the tape on this and um, here's our receipt. We paid $140. We got this back on May 1st and um, it's $140 plus shipping, uh, no shipping, I mean plus tax. So ours comes out to $150 per box for seven items. Uh, this is what this one looks like. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we find something good. And um, I'm pretty happy just to um, go through them because I just like doing that. Okay. Something on that side looks interesting and something on this side looks maybe interesting. First up, though, is a Sandro Paris made in Portugal um, sleeveless tank. The bottom has a um, see-through panel. And let's see. It's V-neck. It's actually a really, really pretty. Looks like it's in good condition. It is, let's see, about a size. Okay, it says Sandro Paris, 100% polyester. That's all it says, made in Portugal. Um, and it's, um, it's actually really, really pretty. It feels super nice, well quality. Um, did we, did I say a price? I mean, a size? Uh, let's see. I don't see a size, so, ah, uh, there's a size. It's a size one. So, um, I'll have to figure out what a one is in Sandro. But it doesn't look too small. It actually looks really nice. Trying to decide which side we're going to go with. Let's, you know, I do get an awful lot of Burberry. This one is made in England. It's pretty cool. It's a vest with a hoodie with the Burberry colors.
That is actually very nice. Like the um, pockets. It's quilted with a zipper and it has the colorway inside also. Uh, let's see about a size. It is Burberry London. The um, buttons all say Burberry. It says Burberry London Alder is 100% polyester. The lining is 50% cotton and 50% polyester. Made in the UK. And I'm just trying to find, it does have um, a serial number. I'm just looking for a size. And I don't see one right off, but it does look rather small. But I'll figure out the size and let you know. But this is very nice. And this is perfect for this kind of weather. Um, so that is nice. There is a little discoloration right here. So that just needs to be cleaned up. And I did buy some of those water wipes that um, Lindsay um, showed in one of her last videos. So I'm going to try those out and see how well that does. Too funny how the last shirt we had was black and the example was white. And now this one's black and ours is white. Anyway, um, this one is listed at $1.99 on eBay. So if anybody's interested, I will do one twenty-five. Ours is in excellent condition. And I think I like the white a lot better. The funny thing is, is I was showing this to Barry and I opened up one of the front pockets and there was a $5 bill. So we're already $5 ahead. If you're interested, let us know. Thank you for the suggestion, Lindsay. If you haven't seen Lindsay Clark, definitely go over and check her out at Lindsay Clark on YouTube. Uh, this is a gorgeous, that's what it looks like first. So this is Carolina uh, Herrera, size 10. Uh, this is gorgeous. And that is stunning. It is a cocktail dress. Um, it does have a couple pulls at the end. Needs to be cleaned. Has a lining. Uh, this is gorgeous. Embroidery on this is stunning. It has a black zi bag zipper. It has a um, V-neck um, top. As I said, it does have a few pulls. I'm gonna guess it's a polyester, um, but the um, embroidery on this is stunning. So I'll do some comparatives and get more information and let you know, but this is, this would be gorgeous for a wedding. Okay, this is what the dress looks like. I mean, it's beautiful and um, gorgeous colors. The embroidery is lovely. I really had a hard time finding this actual dress available, but this is the portrait fill coupe floral embroidered also. Um, but this is the mini dress that I'm showing on the screen. This one sold for $265, and I would probably do about the same thing listed for, if anybody's interested, I would do $150 for subscribers. And everything else looks to be shoes. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay. So we have... Let's get these out of the way because um, my last box did not have any Ferragamos. So this Ferragamo um, loafers, they are suede. These are uh, Salvatore Ferragamo Sport. 
in suede in a beige with um, the Ferragamo here. These are an 8B, so um, an excellent size. Um, in fact, they're my size. And I have to say, I mean, this one has some, um, needs to be cleaned right here. I don't hate Ferragamo. Um, I think they're obviously a very good brand for as many um, Ferragamos that we get. Um, I always, every single time, I hate touching my face, um, but every time we open these boxes, <laughs> my face itches. itches. Um, so anyway, back to Ferragamo. I think Ferragamo actually is a good brand. Um, this one has a lot of life left in it and, um, they look comfy. So I know a lot of people hate them and yeah, we do see a lot of them, but they're a popular brand. And if you look at, um, their website currently, um, the little bows, um, a lot of loafers, and um, they are doing really, really well still. So they're popular brand. All right, next we have some Kitten Hills. And these are Stuart Wiseman. Um, these are also um, uh, suede. These are gray suede. Um, the taps on these need to be replaced. These are a size eight medium. Now, Stuart Weissman actually doesn't do great, but these are nice kitten heels. Um, so um, they just need to be cleaned up. I don't think they're horrible again and a good size. So I think these are, <laughs> is designer um, bread and butter like a thing? You know, it's like, they're okay, you know. I mean, there is some tip wear. This person wore these, definitely. I think, however, you know, we paid about twenty-one fifty with these, no matter what, even in the condition. Once I do the research, I think we'll at least get our money back. Fingers crossed. These are currently available for seventy-five. I think they're very, very comparable. So I would probably list ours exactly the same way, and. Um, if anybody's interested, I would do 35 for you. I'm learning. So am I 100% positive? No, but hopefully. Okay, the next pair. These are gorge. Oh my gosh, this is so me when I was younger. These are Stella McCartney. Are those gorgeous? I would have wore these in a heartbeat with the platform, the brown leather. Let's see what size. These are beautiful. Uh, there is a lot of wear right here and here, and that's actually worn off the leather. How do you do that? <laughs> um, so Stella McCartney, seven and a half. Um, they are beautiful. And there is some more um, leather odd wearing right there, but these are beautiful. Love it. Love the tassel. Love, love, love these shoes. Um, in the description, it says, think Elle Woods. Um, so, so true from the movie Legally Blonde. These look exactly like that personality. Um, these sold for 140 on Poshmark. Um, it says that these have a flaw right here. We already know that ours has a flaw. So, um, I'm going to say that I'm going to list ours at 200, but if anybody's interested, I'll do 75. Okay. And the last pair we have is a pair of sandals. Uh, nice. I think these need some work though. These are, um, Yves Saint Laurent. And they do have, these are, um, Vintage, I would say, because they have the Eve Saint Laurent. I know um, they pulled out, they no longer, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I don't believe they're using the Eve 
um, on there any longer. This is made in Italy. I'm looking for a size, but we might. Oh, there it is. No way. Are these that small? I guess they are. Um, I think these say a five and a half. Really? No, no way. These are an eight and a half. However, I don't know if the um, my shoe repair place will be able to fix that. But I'll take him to him and see what he says. Um, but these are an eight and a half. Um, and they're really cool. So, that's all we have. Not a bad box. You know I like shoes um, better than clothes. So one, two, love these, Stella McCartney. The Ferragamo, Ferragamo Sport Loafers. Three, the Stuart Weissman, four. The Carolina, Carolina, um, Herrera dress, um, the Burberry jacket, uh, vest, six, and, um, is the, um, Sandro, so, nice, not bad, tell me what you thought, I thought it wasn't bad at all, um, Anytime, um, whether I keep them or not, okay, whether there's a pair of shoes in there that's my size, I'm like, all right, there's a pair of shoes my size. Um, that cracks me up. And I have to say, I definitely um, like whenever I find something that I can use, bag or a um, keychain, a pair of, I, not that I get jewelry too much. I have in the past, but I, not too often. So... Tell me what you thought. I would love to hear from you. Hope you are having a wonderful plan to the weekend. Be sure to join us on Sunday for the July 2nd collaboration. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.